Speed, okay. not speed actually. Yeah. Uh, the date is 28 December 2015. Uh, female. This is a female miniature schnauzer. Miniature schnauzer. Not speed. Uh, not speed. 10 years old. 10 years old. Okay. So coming in for vaccination. So during the vaccination, we have done the weighing and the temperature is normal. Then we examine the dog starting from the front, uh, so the mucous membrane. This dog is uh, pink in color, so this is okay. Not dehydrated, and the owner says eating very well. Um, now the the helper has done the uh, uh, brushing, so so we can see that uh, this part the teeth has dropped off already. The, and this side, uh, this side. Oh, the dog doesn't like people to open the mouth because it's painful. Okay. That's the reason. Mm -hmm. uh, because the gums, the roots are exposed. Right? You see the roots? Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay, that, okay, we will disturb him. Now, we actually uh, advise the owner what is this. Uh, One of the tooth just drop out. Uh, the last month. Decay. Uh. So this, this small lump here, mm -hmm. lucky for her that it didn't uh, grow much bigger. But uh, it's best to remove it when it's small. Because sometimes they are they are slow growing cancerous cells, uh, slow one. Uh, but once they grow fast, then they will spread. So it's a simple surgery, about 10 minutes. Uh. Then uh, the other thing, now, okay, now we turn the dog side down. Now the more, more important thing is this, okay. Uh, this, now it's happened that. So when we examine the dog, we examine the lower part, because not only the heart and the lungs, but not only the abdominal population, but also examine the, the lower part. Now this lower part, now, normally dogs have five uh, memory glands, uh, one, two, three. They have one, because it's MG1, MG2, three, four, five. Uh. Okay, so it's correct. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This dog has six on the other side. Uh, this could be, uh, this could be, this could be, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know whether this is, this is a tumor or what. Uh, which, was it there before? From yeah, young. Been there, yeah. So she has six on one side, now we should be five huh? mm. and five on the other side. Okay, so so now the main thing is you can see there's a bit of swelling. There's another one here. Hmm? This one here. Where? Below. This one is not. This is one, this is this one. The extra one, yeah. Okay. I don't know why this dog has six, it means twelve actually. So now the important thing of the female dog not spade, the old female dog not spade, huh? the most important thing for the vet to come to, to, to check is uh, pyometra. Now, pyometra means discharging uh, pass from the uterus. Now, sometimes the owner doesn't know because the dog keeps on leaking off the discharge. Huh? So, but from here we can see this vulva is swollen. So that shows that uh, this dog has been trying to clean herself until she leaked until so hard that the vulva is swollen. Huh? Now, so far I see there's no discharge. No discharge doesn't mean that isn't. I just said the dog might have cleaned off the the discharge. Some has little hmm? brown bleeding. Ah, uh, uh, correct. Ah, uh, that is yeah. the one the dirty brown blood. Yeah. Then a sticky one like like mucus that's touchy. Some kind, yeah. Ah, uh, that yeah. one is a, a sign of open pyometra infection of the womb. Uh. Oh. It's called open because the thing the drip out. Okay. The cervix is open. It's mm -hmm. called open pyometra. So if the owner ignores it, then uh, of course the dog keeps on licking it. And those are poisonous because it goes to the blood system mm -hmm. and then it comes toxic to the dog. The mm -hmm. dog will, in time to come, uh, not now, then will become uh, septic, septic and then uh, doesn't eat and drink. Okay, not, but not at the present, the dog looks healthy now. You look at here, there is definitely milk coming out. Okay, so it's forced pregnancy. Now, forced pregnancy occurs normally two months from the heat period, uh, the bleeding. When was the bleeding? I can predict in October. Mm, no, no, rarely, no, rarely, like, huh? rarely she has a uh, menstruation. Okay, because you didn't see, Maybe, not yeah, that she doesn't not, have last it. Last time is quite obvious, lot, uh, I have to uh, wear the pad for her. Correct, correct. Because sometimes now this... just like this thing only, maybe one, two days. Well, this is a bit uh, blood really. Yeah. Mm. So, so is that it? Was it in October? The dog keeps on taking herself? Mm. So we will know the history. Normally it's two months out, uh, it could be one and a half months. Mm, mm, mm. Was it in October? She <laughs> quite often there uh, so. Mm. so all these are, are, are health problems already the dog has. So if she leaks quite often, that means the the pyometra, the infection of the womb, uh, has has uh, caused those uh, parts to, to come up from here. 
and the dog tries to clean herself because she, dogs are very clean. They don't have a dirty apartment or, or the house. So, so this is really a, a sign, uh, a sign of a uh, of, uh, open parmetra because the owner said there's some reddish brown discharge. Mm, sure. When was that? Uh, like Recently? Probably uh, two to three months back like that. Two to three months back, uh, but... The short one only. Uh, that one is because it's too, too much, so the dog cannot lick off, you see. Oh, okay. So after that, the dog keeps on licking. Every day is licking, right? Now, now uh, yes. Uh, mm. So, so pyometra occurs, pyometra is infection of the womb, occurs about two months, I mean generally, after the heat period. So I can I can see that the heat period is, is uh, two months ago because there is milk here. So when there is milk, the dog has forced pregnancy. Forced pregnancy, I did abdominal palpation. There were hard lumps, but those were stools. Uh. Now, forced pregnancy is normally occurs about two months after the heat period. So when they see milk, you know already that uh, the heat period was two months. And pyometra also occurs after the heat period, which is around uh, one and a half to two months. And, and the evidence is this swelling. Uh, because by right, there should be no more swelling after the heat. So this swelling occurs should be occurring only in October when the dog has heat uh, in a normal mm. young dog, uh, young female dog. But it shouldn't still be around even until now, which is already the end of the heat period is about two weeks only actually. <coughs> so, so there's another more more important issue is that this breast nodule, uh, not detected. It's quite small uh, there, isn't it? Very small. So it can be removed, no problem. But I really advise the owner, this is due to the ovarian hormones stimulating the breast tumour. So, whether this one is cancerous or not, we don't know yet because it start has a small one. But if it's cancerous, then it, the whole breast will be hardened and big, a big lump. And then some of them, over time, will spread to this one and spread across to the other side So Over time, now, maybe one or two years down the road. So, my advice would be first to, to, to spay and then uh, at the same time, to just take out this lump and uh, this remove the female <coughs> hormones uh, which stimulates the growth of the tumours, uh, the breast tumours. And once you spit, everything will be back to normal, including this uh, vulva swelling, because there's no more discharge of the pus from the uh, uterus to the cervix and it comes out here. And uh, so sometimes the bladder will get infected. Her urine is okay? Okay. Colour? Normal? Mm, yeah. It's like yellow, so. so this dog is actually overall is quite uh, good condition. It's not too fat and not too thin. You can feel the spine is normal. See a bit of the waist, uh, and uh, and overall is a uh, is a uh, will be will be able to live quite a long life provided certain health problems are uh, uh, resolved. Uh, that is actually we need the. Uh, the breast cancer, the breast tumour and uh, the pyometra. Pyometra is very toxic to dogs because after a while they don't eat, but it's still eating, right? Mm. Uh, after a while they don't eat. Uh, over over the next cycle, uh, maybe it's, it's stopped. You can give antibiotics, it's stopped and then you come back again. And then it's stopped to come back again until one day the dog is, uh, immune system is too weak to uh, to fight the fight against the bacteria. Oh, finish it. Okay.